So I believe that self-inquiry is like the backbone of our our journeys our our journey of evolution our journey of self mastery our journey of awakening whatever whatever we want to call it and self inquiry self inquiry for me isn't just about getting in my head and understanding how my head works and what emotions are there and doing the work on the psychological and the emotional level Self-inquiry for me is also about self-discovery. It's about understanding how my body works, how my energy system works, how my emotional um, my emotional body works, my pain body. Like it's it's about exploring what I am and 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 learning what makes me tick, what where my tendencies are, and also learning about the technologies that that exist with this incredible being and this incredible vessel. So personally, what I believe is that because we are all energy, everything is energy. It's like the the basic fundamental common denominator. So I believe getting to understand energy and establish a culture of energy is really, really important in our journey of self-inquiry because it gives us the ability to start to become more embodied, become more somatic and start to really navigate our body, navigate our energy system, because all of this stuff is interlinked. Again, the interface, right, between our mind, our consciousness, our energy system and the body, all of this interface is really important because this is, this is essentially what we are then going to be rewiring, okay? Um, because all of that conditioned stuff, all that programming is hardwired into the system. So um, as a process of self-healing, which comes after the, or during, or a, a parallel to the self-inquiry, we start to reprogram some of this stuff. So any any modality that enables us to explore our own energy, starting with self-healing, is really, really important. So rather than skipping forward to, I want to learn about energy and then I want to heal people, is to work with a modality that, that enables you to really and encourages you and supports you to to go through a process of self-healing, a significant process of self-healing. So the way that Roop, my husband and I teach our students through our energy medicine and holistic medicine practitioner training programs is to to start with say Reiki level one or spiritual crystal healing uh, level one or our holistic coaching course but to go on that journey, a deep dive journey within oneself. And so we we don't give out our certificates until we've seen proof that they have done their 21 days self-healing and that they have honored that process. And then we also guide them and support them, mentor them and coach them through that period of self-healing because stuff is going to come up. And it's really important to honor that. So working with energy medicine modalities for me is like a backbone because it it enables us to start to navigate and feel into what we are. And parallel to that, working with um, a modality that enables one to start to um, get into a deeper level of awareness of the mind, of how our mind works and what we're holding, what beliefs we're holding. And that also enables us to really create an inner dialogue that is helpful and evolutionary. So I recommend uh, working with an internal family systems therapist um, or, you know, doing a training in internal family systems or in our holistic coaching course as a way of of going in and and doing that self-inquiry and and, and learning those skills of um, self-dialogue. So energy medicine and also that includes um, many of the all of the practices of tantra of yoga uh, breath work practices kriya practices again in pa- you know it parallel to the energy medicine part of the energy medicine is, is so important those are also other tools to get us into our body to get us into ourselves
So I would say something like Reiki um, and something like uh, yogic techniques alongside something to do with really getting to grips with the mind. So like coaching or internal family systems, that would be my recommendation. Amazing. Thank you so much. That's quite practical as well and quite systematic, it would appear as well. So good to know um, that there are these resources. I think I'm really curious to hear a bit more about the quantum techniques that you apply in the work that you do. What does this entail? 